In this video, we are going to use Dreamweaver CC to adapt images to smaller screens. It's very important in this day and age when people are using their phones, a tablet, a normal computer screen, or a massive computer screen, that we keep that in mind and we address our websites accordingly so that they're responsive to that size, which means including our images, making sure that they resize according to the screen size. So our first step is to observe how images adapt to a current design. So if I, we, if I resize the width of the browser here, so if I click like mobile, it looks a certain way. And then if I click tablet, it looks a certain way. And then the bigger screen size looks a certain way. So it's important to look at what your site looks like using these tools in Dreamweaver so that way you know without having to get on your phone and check it out what it would look like if it changed to that different screen size. Now, in order to adapt the images to the smaller screen size, we're going to make sure that we are in the correct style sheet. So we're going to click, so we're going to go for the mobile here. So I'm going to click on this mobile size. Here it says 480 times 800. I'm going to edit that size. And here I'm going to put, because they're getting smaller and smaller, right? I'm going to hit 468. That's going to be what my max width is here. I'm going to apply that and close. And then we're going to grab 468. So there we go. So now that we have done that, let's go ahead and update our rules. So we're going to click on my green style sheet, but this time we're going to scroll down and find our screen max width. Once we've selected the media, the correct media type, we're going to add a new selector and we're going to call this one dot float or FLT underscore LFT for left comma dot FLT right. It's important to make it intuitive so that when you're looking at your classes later, you know what you are meaning. So it's very detailed here. Once we've added that, we can go ahead and just hit enter. And then we have the option to add the property. So we're going to add a max width, first of all, of 95%. And then we're going to display it as a block. You'll see what that does. It's going to center it across the screen. We're going to add a margin of zero pixels and then a space and then auto. And then I'll show you what that does here in a second. And then for float, we're not going to want it to float, so let's do none. And I'm going to hit enter. So once we have entered those values, if we scroll down, we can see a visual of what we just did. We see that the top and bottom are zero, but the left and right are auto. That's going to allow it to center. Once we have added this classification for float left and float right and added these additional values based on this screen size, you may have noticed your images jumped across and you're like, ew, that's not what I wanted. Well, in this case, we need to make sure we click on live view to see what it looks like live on the web. And once you click on live, you'll notice it shrinked them down 95%, it centered them, and they would look great, fabulous on a mobile device now. So that is making the image smaller based on the screen size because of this uh, app media query that we used combined with the max with the display and the margins that we've added. So now that we see what it's like to adjust the image using the media query, let's play with some larger images. So we're going to open news.html. There's news down here. And then we want to be in live view. This is what it looks like live. Notice that we're using our template. And then we're going to turn on our assets if we need to. If you don't have your assets on, just click on window and then assets, but I have my assets over here. And we're going to drag the skyline image. Let's find it. There it is. And we're going to put it Let's see, where are we going to put it? We're going to put it between the heading green buildings, earn more green, and the first paragraph. So grab this. 
and it doesn't like me dragging it over in live view, so I'm going to get out of live view. Such a liar. I'm going to drag the skyline image and drag and drop it next to the at the end of the header above the paragraph, and it throws it in there. Beautiful on this screen size, but smaller, it would be a mess. We want to see? Sure, let's go. Let's check it out. So if I move this up here, make sure you can see it. And I click on the mobile. It's cut off. Tablet. It's all the way down here. It's messed up with the menu. Go to our normal screen size and you could see the whole thing. So we obviously need to play with this a little bit. So unlike images used in our previous exercises, this one was inserted between the heading and the P elements. HTML images are inline by default and normally would be used within a block element. As an inline element, the skyline ping will need some custom styling to fit in with the current page design. So in our CSS designer, we're going to choose my green styles, global this time and then dot content dot profile i'm going to start typing it here got taunt dot content dot profile there it is and then we have the option so down here and then we're going to create a new rule so i'm going to click, click the plus and this time it's going to be dot content space dot full and then enter now we can assign some properties to it. We're going to say display as a block element. Enter. Oh, I hit enter. I did not mean to hit enter. And then dot full. And then that we're going to do a margin left of 15 pixels. Let's see how that looks. Now let's say we want to assign it a class without using the properties menu. That's fine, right? So let's switch it to float right. It's a total mess. And then go into live view. Now in live view, each image will have this classification up here. Right now it says float right. Yeah, no, right? We don't like that. So we can hit this plus sign and we can actually type what we want to apply right here. So dot, dot, dot content dot full and then hit enter and voila it's adding the classification we just created and it keeps the image over here to the left much better and we that's why we added the pixels around so that the words can wrap around it which looks much better so now let's look and see what it looks like on smaller screens it looks still looks good and on this one still looks Good. Now this time the text came down to the bottom and the image is centered below the heading. So that's how we adapt images to smaller screens using Dreamweaver CC. Remember to subscribe and I will see you next time.